What's going on guys? Today I wanna to chat for a few minutes about jackets and general outerwear for men. Now I've been somewhat reluctant to tackle this particular subject because I mean, let's be honest, I live in Southern California and I really don't have a strong need for a lot of heavy winter coats and jackets. However, with that said, a lot of you guys that live in other parts of the country and other parts of the world are interested in this. So I've got a list of jackets and outerwear that I do have that I think just about every guy could benefit from owning. So let's get after it. All right, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So first up, a disclaimer. If you live in a really cold climate like Alaska or Montana, you already know what you need, right? Your needs are basically all about the function and not so much about the form. On the flip side, if you live in a warm climate like I do in Southern California or somewhere like South Florida, some of these jackets are gonna be too much for you. The outerwear and the jackets that I'll be talking about in this video are more for your general average climates. This video is in partnership with Peter Manning and some of the jackets that I'll be showing you guys today were supplied by them, but more on Peter Manning in just a little bit. So pretty much all of the jackets that I'll be talking about and showing are completely age appropriate for us older guys as well as for younger guys as well. I would not hesitate to wear any of these jackets even if you're at or past the half century mark like I am. Okay, first up is the bomber jacket. Now, the bomber jacket, not to be confused with the flight jacket, is extremely versatile and comes in all types of different materials and colors. You can get bomber jackets in very lightweight fabric and even leather and suede. I picked up this pretty inexpensive black one from Zara maybe about two years ago, and it gets a fair amount of use for me. Although I wouldn't mind picking one up in some type of dark olive color or even brown suede. I think that would look great. Like I mentioned, bomber jackets are extremely versatile and it's one of those jackets that you really don't have to think that much about. If you're running out really quick to the grocery store, just throw it on. If you gotta run a quick errand, just throw it on. And if you're even going out for a casual dinner, you just throw on the bomber jacket. Also, if you have a few different colors, it's really easy to grab the one that works best that day and just head out the door. Next up, we can't forget about the all important sports jacket. This is a jacket that I believe every guy above the age of 40 needs to have in his wardrobe. If you have just one, that's great. If you have more than one, even better. The sports jacket is such an important staple and versatile piece of outerwear that can take you so many different places. It's elevated enough to garner respect for your age and what you've accomplished in life. And it's also casual enough to pull off at your local tap room. Super easy to dress up or dress down. You can wear it with jeans and chinos and pretty much go anywhere you like. Next up, we have the Harrington jacket. Now you can tell the Harrington jacket by the unique collar and also the plaid or tartan pattern on the inner lining. Just like the bomber jacket, this is your casual go anywhere jacket while being just a little bit more on the preppy side. This one is from Peter Manning, who, like I mentioned, supplied me with a couple of the jackets for this video, and I'm sure you've seen this particular jacket in other videos. Guys, I've talked about Peter Manning before because I really like what they're doing, because as a guy myself who's five foot nine, I sometimes have a hard time finding clothes that fit my body proportions, especially my torso length and my arm length. Peter Manning does a great job with their classic take on modern menswear for guys under five foot nine. They make jeans, chinos, and dress pants all the way down to a 26 inch inseam. They also make shirts, sweaters, and outerwear that all have the correct proportions. Now, I'm an average height guy at about five foot nine, but just about every single off the rack shirt or jacket has sleeves that are just way too long for me and I always have to cuff my jacket sleeves. Now, it's not just a matter of taking a normal shirt or jacket and just chopping it off. Peter Manning did a complete ground up redesign because all the proportions on shorter dudes are just a little bit different. Look, I'm gonna drop a link with a code you can use for a limited time down below in the description. And if you're a shorter guy under five foot nine, I highly encourage you to go check out everything they have. Next, we have the down puffer jacket. Now this one's good for your colder weather and is another staple that just about every guy should have at the ready when temperatures start to drop. Now it's pretty tough to dress up a puffer jacket, but this one looks pretty darn good on its own and it's right at home with a nice pair of jeans and boots. One thing guys I might suggest about puffer jackets and 
some of the other outerwear that I'm showing is to size down a little bit. If you're normally a large, go try on some stuff in a medium. A lot of times what you'll find is the fit is much better and it makes you look a lot more tailored and cinched in at the waist as opposed to wearing something big and baggy that's oversized. I mean, jackets are bulky enough on their own, so just be aware of the fit when you're out looking and make sure you're not swimming in it. Next, we have the leather jacket. The fit on this, the feel and the construction are absolutely fantastic. And even though there are some people on YouTube, <coughs> Ashley and Dorgan, just kidding, I love you guys. Anyway, some people say that men over 40 should not wear leather jackets, but I tend to disagree. I believe a great quality refined leather jacket like this one is absolutely appropriate for a man over 40. I would suggest, however, staying away from a lot of zippers and some of the younger, trendier leather jackets that are marketed towards the 20-something. Jackets like this that are classic will always stand the test of time, so it's absolutely worth investing in something like this because this will be as relevant today as it will be 10 years from now. Next, we have the jacket that's been around for many, many years while mostly remaining unchanged, and that's the denim jacket or a trucker jacket. Now, I've made a video about denim jackets before, and I currently own two of them. This one in this lighter blue shade, and then this one I have also in black. I've seen guys wear these with dress trousers, a dress shirt, and neckties, but I tend to wear them a lot more casually. If I do want to dress it up, though, it's super easy to throw on a nice pair of chinos, some dress shoes, or even a nice pair of boots would look pretty dynamite. Once again, though, gentlemen, be aware of the fit and try to size down. Trucker jackets like this are usually cut fairly boxy, so sizing down can give you a much better silhouette and tailored appearance. Real quick, gentlemen, before I get into the last one, if you're digging some of these jackets, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm here a few times a week with brand new videos that surround men's lifestyle topics for grown-ups. Also, please feel free to drop me a comment and let me know what your favorite go-to jacket is for this time of year. All right, next up we have the wool overcoat. And again, this one being from Peter Manning fits me really great. And you guys have probably seen this particular jacket in another video that I made, but I absolutely love this coat. I've already worn it out on several different occasions and it was absolutely the perfect choice. Now I've owned pea coats in the past and I'd kind of still like to find myself another one, but this is the first long overcoat that I've ever owned and I'm absolutely loving this thing. So a coat like this is great for cold weather because of how thick it is. And it's also great for more dressy events or parties that you can easily put this over your suit and even your sport jacket to the office as well. Okay, lastly, gentlemen, don't forget to hit that link down below in the video description and go check out everything Peter Manning has to offer. But until next time, gentlemen, live well and I'll see you soon.